Welcome to the video. I'm the Grease Monkey, and this is just going to be a highlights of a live stream that I did last week. And if you want to know or see more of whatever's covered in this video, uh, just see the link below in the description. It will have the link to that live stream. Thanks for watching. Today, we're going to be working on a collab that I'm working with uh, Spitfire Storyboards. Uh, if you don't know Spitfire Storyboards, you should definitely check that guy out. Maybe I can put his his channel up on the screen. Spitfire. So you should definitely check out his channel. I'm doing a collaboration with him. I'm making an environment. This is the project I'm working on, a little sci-fi environment. We're making a make we're making a uh, animatic using 3D and 2D. He is. I mean, look at his work. It's great. So check him out. I'm doing a collab with him, and I'm doing the environment. So. Here today, I got my uh, workflowy checklist of things I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm probably going to be bouncing between all these different things as I get bored here and there with uh, different uh, types of stuff to do. So right now, I'm going to fix my view so nothing is clipping at point, uh, zero 0.01 clipping. We could probably do it less, right? Oh, man, maybe not. Maybe point one is fine. We're going to change our focal length. What this is, is that when I'm not in a camera, uh, while I'm in the viewport, like this is the viewport view, uh, you can change actually how you're viewing your scene. I usually like to not do 50 and go closer to like 100. So things are a bit more squared off. Sometimes I can mess with, uh, I don't know, doing stuff. So, uh, so it feels a little bit more isometric and I can see it, but we would definitely be using cameras. This is just for me to work this way. All right, so let's start with the room. This room is basically a cube. That's all this is. If I just solo it, it's a cube with its normals reversed. So where's the normals? Maybe I could just show you that. Yeah, you can see that this is just a cube with normals facing the opposite direction. Oh, do I have it on? I do have it on. There they are. Yeah, those little blue lines show you that those faces are facing inwards. I actually didn't realize that this was, uh, these are triangles. I don't know if that's good or bad at the end. We'll keep them triangles though. That's fine. Working on the materials. Let me unsolo this. And you solo with the numpad, or not the numpad, but the button above the eight, which is like a, is that a backslash, forward slash? Anyway, that's how you solo things. So if I wanted to solo this, do a little numpad slash, and it's very useful to do this. So definitely try that. So yeah, I think this is pretty good. I have it so it's a gradient from dark at the top to light at the bottom. And I did that because the pool's gonna be somewhat illuminating that. And we could probably change this color. Oh shoot. And you can see that I can mess with it and like really Really have some control here. So that's good. Uh, we can make it lighter, darker, you know, whatever. So that's pretty good. Let's keep going. So here's the pillars. I don't like that. Uh, see how it cuts off there? That's because of this right here, this this ramp. So let's put that to B spline so there's some smoothness. And let's just do it the way that we have the room set up. I think that's pretty good there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that's looking good with the gradients. I like to, to make it smooth. So then there's like less detail and then keep all the detail where I want it, which would be up in front. It'll lead the eyes a little bit better for me. So, uh, I keep selecting this box. I'm going to make it unselectable. So I'm going to click on it, hit the little period key here. There it is. We'll make it unselectable. That's just by uh, clicking this little icon here. Now I can't select the box and that's great. I'm losing detail. I think in, in here, there's like, it's all just kind of muddy. Uh, if you zoom up, obviously you can see some stuff, but I don't know. It's just, you can't really tell the details. So I'm going to see about fixing that. Obviously it looks okay. We got the reflection here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's keep trying. That one's okay. And then what if we did something like for the texture coordinates, we set it to reflection. There we go. This is looking a little bit more metally to me in the metal that I would like. I'm basically using the coordinates of the reflections 
for it. So that's that's looking a little better. I'm starting to like that a little better. It has more detail than it did before. If you want to see like a comparison, see if I can switch back to it without destroying this stuff. If we want to metal, see, that's what that looks like. No detail. We'll zoom up on it. It's like very little detail and stuff. And what do we call these? We call these pipe main sides. And see, this has a lot more fun colors, fun stuff. I like it. And now we can start messing, I think, a little bit with this roughness here. And fix that top half. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Instead of it being like this like sharp thing at the top, uh, it'll look better if it was just a little bit more spread out. Got it. And then we're just going to add a displacement modifier. Simple stuff, guys. So deform, uh, displace, and we will hit uh, new. Um, and then we will go into this texture material, make it into a cloud. Oh, it's so jurgly. So that's way too much. Maybe not cloud. Let's see if marble looks good. Mm, noise. Mm, Stucky. Stucky. Stucky looks pretty cool. Verone. Verone looks all right. Wood. We just got waves. So let's do Stucky for right now. Right, and then turbulence. <laughs> that is way too much. So we're going to go to back to the modifier and just make sure that the strength is like, we'll start at zero. We'll do it very subtly. There we go. Because we're going to make it a little wavy, just very, very subtly. And the way that we're going to do it is that we're going to do, uh, nope change that back we're gonna do the way we're gonna make it wave is that we're gonna do change the coordinates the object and then i'm gonna make a empty right and that empty is going to be a cube just so we can see its direction and we'll see the cube is non-existent what, what the hell are we doing here cube why can't i see this cube oh it's because uh why can't i see the cube hold on extras there it is all right so this cube's here and it looks like this it's just an empty it's not anything and we're going to call this pool uh base and we're going to call it disp for displacement all right cool so if we go to our pool and now go and type in what we need so pool base displacement uh, it's not being affected like the coordinates and stuff by uh, this cube, right? So as this cube gets bigger, you'll see that the waves get bigger. And I don't like how huge it gets, right? So there it is. Could I just apply a scale? Okay, that's what I need to do. So I'm going to make it real small and then apply, apply scale. like really small. Let's make it super tiny and then apply scale and then make it bigger. Great. So then now when this cube rotates, right, we get some wavies going on and I want this to automatically rotate, rotate. So I can definitely keyframe this, but I don't want to do that so the way i'm going to do it i'm going to use a little bit of python guys so hold your noses hold your ears and we're going to just make this rotate on all the axes using a little bit of python this is how we're going to do it it's using drivers it's really what it is so we're going to go in here i'm going to rotate the cube on the both x y and z so the way i started off is i hit the pound sign and that starts off the python driver I'm going to type in frame. So frame is just a global variable. Basically, it's going to put in the number of the frame that it is. So if it's on frame one, it's going to put one. If it's on frame two, it's going to put frame two. So if we set that, we'll see that it rotates hella fast. Look how fast that rotates. And that's not good. So, ooh, what happened here? So we'll do pound frame 
divided by a hundo or a thousand, right? There it is. So you can see that this cube is slowly rotating, right? And you can see that the waves are slowly rotating. So maybe not divided by 100. How about divided by, or not 1,000, but 100. So we got the turbulent water here going, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I think these waves need a little bit more detail for me. They're a little... They need something else, right? So we got our water going. I wonder if it'll look cool if I do this to every single one. So if I go, um, so if I do the same thing, pound, frame divided by 100, it's not rotating on two ends, and then do the same thing, pound, rotated by 100, boom. It's moving a little faster than I kind of like. And you can see it moving here. You can barely see it moving here because it's just there's nothing that's reflecting on it. You can kind of see it in the reflection there. I'm gonna fix the material to make it look a little cooler right now. So we're gonna go in here and figure out what we can do to add a little bit more detail into this. What if we did reflections? Ooh, not reflections, reflections Uzy Y. Reflections. Okay, this is kind of more where I was going. See, so it's it's choosing between two colors lowest and highest so at the low parts it is this blue high parts is that it's obviously a little ugly but if we go back to spine now there we go that's looking a little better and i can now add some strength to the emissions to make it a little brighter uh and now i can do this empty thing here have a bit more you know a bit more say in here and i think this is looking pretty sweet so we'll choose that we'll also put the roughness but we'll, we'll put it really shiny and then uh so that's cool let's see if we can continue working on this color i don't like how this looks entirely it's barely reflecting anything it's not like you can kind of see it there right there it is i just put this i'll put this to white and I'll put the vibrance up. So there we go. We got some more reflections here. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I don't like how this is moving. So we'll go here to this uh, pool base displacement. And we'll just erase the drivers from this. So single driver, single driver. And we'll make it just go one direction. Uh, I don't know if it should be X though. So let's remove this driver as well. Delete single. We'll zero all this out. And let's do this. Is it Y? I think Y's movement looks a little better. Let's try Z now. So pound, do that frame. And then Z kind of makes it look like it's spinning in the center. And that's just not not what i want so we're going to delete single driver it's going to be y so we'll hit home boom and then we got this going there we go all i'm doing is i added this plane here if you can see oh shoot uh, i just added these planes and that's where it's being emitted from the emitter and then for the physics i changed it to fluid so it acts like a liquid that's kind of what i want and then the object that i'm rendering out of is the meta balls so the meta balls right here so that's why these meta balls kind of like stick together is because it's copying this one right here um, and then sticking together. So that's what makes it um, kind of like sticky and, and flowy and stuff, which is pretty good. I think it's looking pretty sweet. Colors are looking pretty good, looking pretty solid. Maybe I'll work on the crystal next time. Take care. Peace. And see you later, guys.